I need to buy maple syrup. My, okay? my. What's going on? Oh. So I did. Hey guys, what the Rudge is up fam? It's Mike for another installment of um, Don't You Wish This Was Terry. And, and today is Saturday, February 26th. No baby still. So once again, Terry has lied to you guys about the fact that the next vlog will be a baby vlog. Not happening. It's already two o'clock on a Saturday. She's so in, showing no signs of a baby coming today. So once again, maybe it'll be the next one. We're probably gonna just like film some reels today, hang out, be kind of lazy. So it'll be like a quick little day in the life of an extremely pregnant woman and her spouse. <laughs> hey guys, Mike back again. I think I'm in a different outfit. Uh, Terry and I just filmed some reels. Um, I said that we were gonna film some reels and I thought I was gonna do the reels as B-roll for this, but then it turns out the reels were all gonna be in the nursery and Terry is saving a nursery vlog for later. So you didn't get to see any of that. Here is Terry making her first real appearance in the vlog. I am. Very pregnant. Trying to, let's get us both in here. <laughs> Guys. You're not gonna labor and delivery vlog. It's a wrap. <laughs> it's well, such a wrap. Well, you, you haven't seen it yet. Because you haven't seen the clip yet, but I was saying, Terry is once again lied to you guys. Last vlog ended with, next one's labor and delivery, and uh, here I am one more time. Baby in here, not here. I know, right? Um, um, I'm 38 weeks pregnant, 38 weeks in one day. I think everyone knew that by the Cheetos, but yeah. Oh! <laughs> Guys, I got a new memory card. This is this is the watch me eat this bag of Cheetos <laughs> in real time, <laughs> family size. <laughs> Mike started buying all our food family size because I keep eating it so fast. It's I'm also there's a reason for that. I'm also becoming my mother, and I'm only buying economically now. I have spent so long in my life buying whatever I want at the grocery store and not really looking at price. And now I've become super price conscious because I know I do the only, I'm the only one who does grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. And it's like the one area of the house where I can totally control exactly what we spend every single week. Um, I'm not doing a great job at it, but I definitely like You this. have coupons. Yeah, well they sent me some in the mail, which was fantastic. But yeah, I've been using coupons, which is like something old I would, would have never, never, never done. But I have I them like all never. cut out, hand to the cashier. Um, yeah, it's actually... I think the last three weeks I've saved eighty dollars or something like that over wow. the course of. I was doing good that week, and it still ended up being a hundred something bucks because I needed to buy maple syrup. You okay? Oh. What's going on? Oh. oh. What is it? Oh, that was just so. I don't know. It was just really weird. Okay. Okay. Well. we'll hey guys, it's the next day. We are still not having a baby yet. Yep but um, decided to get out of the house. Mike was gonna go somewhere and I was just like, you know what, I have to like leave the apartment. So I threw on some clothes and I'm in the car with him. He's making a beef bour bourgnon. Yeah. It's uh, like a beef stew. Yeah, it's a French beef stew. It's really. And uh, it needs French wine. Yeah, I need red wine for it. Uh, I don't have any. So trying to find a liquor store that has it. That's also, why I was saying how busy are you because if it's create if I can't find what I want at this place or whatever you will just go to Total Wine in West Hartford we'll drive out to West is that West Farm yeah that's yeah. West Farms yeah so that's nice yeah, yeah so we'll do so, something either way I'm gonna go wash the car first and then yeah so as you can see we have a few things that we can actually do so yeah. I'm glad that I'm out because I was just like laying on the couch in my humidifier just doing nothing you were with yeah, a nap yeah, was, weren't you I was gonna nap earlier and then I was like I have a few things I can do mm -hmm. so I edited the photos and stuff like that so now we're in the car headed to do a few things and I thought I'd hop on the vlog yeah. I realized I didn't pack any hats for her because I didn't have any at the time when I packed her baby bag I don't think I showed her baby bag either so mm -hmm. I just ran it before we left the house I just got a couple hats to go with the outfits that are in her baby bag just like super plain ones that'll mm -hmm. go with whatever They're so cute yeah. i can't believe she's gonna her head's gonna be so small I know. and then i know right Crazy. and then i got this this baby bag from hap brand well no mike got it say, for me as a 
was this what was this a Christmas present I don't remember it was a present um, it was definitely a present. It might have been. It must have been Christmas because we said we weren't gonna get you the Christmas present. I still got you something. Yeah. Well, we said we were gonna get we, stuff for the baby. Right. Right. That's what it was. That's what it was. Yeah. yeah. So he got me this baby bag that I wanted. Um, so it's really cute, and it's funny because like I got in the car and I was gonna put the hats in, and I was like, I don't even know how to like where the opening is. I'm so unfamiliar with it because I packed it and I put it in the car for. Yeah, a long like, time ago too. Exactly. Whenever the baby decides to come. All right. Oh, okay, so Mike's inside of this total wine, getting the wine we need for the stew. I am so tired. I need a nap. I think I'm gonna nap in the car, but I want to show you the little bag. Um, I opened it up and start looking through it. I packed this like when basically we had nothing for the baby um, and the baby shower was so far away, but we needed to have a hospital bag packed for her um, in the event that and like have it in the car in the event that I went to labor because I think at that point I had been to the hospital like Twice for like an emergency visit and we just didn't want to be unprepared hour. So I'm just gonna show you really quick What it looks like In better lighting He parked me in the shade because I got so hot. I started overheating So like I said, this is the hap brand baby bag it is um the backpack version i really like it i think it's so cute bottles can go here two sides and like i said it's the backpack version it can be used as like a shoulder bag as well you open it up it zips around the side you open it up like that you have this little pocket area here and then we have some stuff packed for her. I have like her swaddles. I have a couple swaddles in here and her going home outfits. I have a newborn and then a zero to three size uh, onesies. Like they're footy pajamas basically. I just wanna be, as, I wanted her to be as comfortable as possible. And then there's like a little coat for her, like a, uh, like a snowsuit type thing cause didn't know if it was gonna be super cold. We also have regular onesies in here and little socks for her little cute feet. And um, here we have more storage. It's a little blankie, little bunny blankie. And then we have a pacifier, which I said I'm gonna change out and the little pacifier clip. I might change out this swaddle for a swaddle that we have in her bassinet in our bedroom currently. And I think that might be it. And then everything else that we need for her is in my bag. We're on K vlog. We are back home. I didn't vlog anything because I ended up being too tired and I slept the whole time. Basically had to pee. But Mike is making this meal. Mm -hmm. We yeah, talked about it in the car. Yep. We got the wine. And it is so good. It's such a good meal. Oh I know. It's so um, rustic. It is, that was the word we used. So this is it. And he's made it once before. Yep. And it was it was very, very good. Um, so he's making it again. Super tasty. It is super tasty, I'm really excited. It should be better this time with better wine. Oh, okay. Um, and I'm, using, I'm making it in the saucepan this time because I didn't think I had enough room last time. With, um, you saw me use like the saute pan. Uh -huh. So this time I'm gonna use my big sauce, my stock pan. So again, guys, Michael loves cooking. He registered for all these very specific pots. Why are they like this? Literally. Just so the vlog knows, we, go, we see this every single day. It's Multiple like, times a day. It's not like catching a rare occurrence here, just that we love catching it. Multiple times a day they, they do this. Mila, don't be a bully. So he's gonna make dinner. I'm gonna sit and watch. I'm gonna hang out here on the island with him. And uh, that's what we have planned. Euphoria, the season finale is on tonight. Mike doesn't watch it. I watched season one in its entirety. Did I watch, did I start doing that during when I got COVID? Uh, no, no, actually. It was it after? after? We did it after we got back from St. Lucia's, that's how crazy it's been. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
Okay, well, I started watching season one. It took me a long time to start watching it because I thought it was going to be too intense and too much about drugs and, like, super depressing. Mm -hmm. And one day, I think I just saw so much stuff about it on the internet. Yeah. And I was like, let me just see what this is all about. And I did. And... um I got hooked and I finished all of season one and now I'm caught up with season two. So tonight is the season finale. So I'm actually going to try to stay up and watch it. I have to figure out what time it even comes on. Because I think I mean, last time we... Nine or ten. Nine or ten. Probably, yeah. Probably That's what nine. I was thinking. Because last time I thought, oh, they just like... As soon as it's Sunday, they make they air it. Yeah, that's but what apparently Showtime they, did for Dexter, which was really nice. Which is really nice because then you can watch it at any time on Sunday. But, um, but I think it actually comes on on a specific time. Uh-huh. Last time I, so eventually these will, so this is just regular, this is top round, I think. Uh, and I cut it into like steaks. Now usually what, what it calls for, if you see in the picture, is like chunks of the meat. Okay. And that's what it'll eventually turn into. But I brown them first in this pan. Right now I'm putting bacon in there so you'll get like, bacon will be one of the flavors and then you'll get, you'll, it'll get seared in bacon fat. Okay. But when I sear these, I'll sear them as steaks because it takes up more surface area, or it does a better job of distributing the surface area. Whereas if you cut these into chunks, they don't fit quite right in the pan. It takes longer to do it. Now I only have four pieces to try and put, get a sear on. Instead of last time, you saw how much I was trying to rotate, rotate through. Rotate so had, many. I mean, I had like 30 chunks of meat. Right. Now instead of do this, sear on, get the sear on the steaks, and then cut the steaks into the pieces. And nice. So uh, we'll see how this goes. I mean, I still haven't done it yet, but like I watched, it was Kenji who was, who recommended doing steaks. That's a chef. He's, he, he, he. But like drops the names as if they're friends. I, well, it's just I drop them thinking that other people might know who he is because like I don't deserve any. It's his, it's his buddy Kenji. You, yeah. you know, you guys get it. Okay, guys. So this is how it turned out. This one's for the vlog. Looks beautiful. Looks better than the picture, honestly. So Mike, you did a great job. Oh, thank you. It was in the oven for three, three hours. hours. Yep. So now, Mike, can you put this away? Because I still have to take oh. videos and stuff oh, for sorry. your thing. Yep. So now I'm going to manage his account because I'm a social media manager. So that was delicious. Mike, amazing job. Thank you. How do you think it was compared to last time? Um, I think it was better. You think it was better? Yeah, I think the meat was like more tender Yeah. this time. It was a better quality of meat. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know. I, I thought the flavor of, I thought the sauce was exactly as thick as I wanted it to be. I was happy with that. I thought the whole thing was really good. Yeah. I like scrubbed that down. Yeah. But um, I don't know what I was going to say. I'm going to say that that's it for the vlog. Um, we are, we're just cleaning up really quickly um, because we're going to finish watching a show that we started. And then I'm going to watch the season finale of Euphoria. If you guys watch Euphoria, comment down below like your favorite characters and like uh -huh. if you like it or not. I'm a huge fan of Maddie. And I want to say, I don't know if I her name, Lindsay, Lizzie, whoever's uh -huh. putting on the play. So those are my two favorite characters. Anyways, we're going to wrap it up for tonight. Baby still didn't come. I'm still pregnant, mm -hmm. but I'm full and I'm happy we're gonna watch some TV. I can't breathe, y'all. And uh, that's it. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna top this off and call it a night. Nice. So. More than I thought there was in there. <laughs> so, um, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. The next vlog for sure is gonna be a labor and delivery vlog. <laughs> <laughs> On the next vlog. Watch Terry if she gets angry. <laughs> um, and um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next video. My, Bye. Until next my, time. My, oh my. A kiss and so I did.